Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the VFX Showdown, and this is the another very exciting After Effects tutorial. Because in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you the procedural method inside of After Effects. As you can see, basically, we're going to create this line animation using a procedural method. Basically, we don't need to draw any lines, it's all based on a noise pattern. So I'm gonna teach you how to make this thing procedural inside of After Effects and you can use this line in uh, several things. So in this example, as you can see, I'm using a text. So I put this uh, texture line inside of this text and if I play, you will see pretty nice animation and I'm gonna show you how to make this light rays like that coming through the text. So as you can see, pretty good. So let's make this procedural. So let's make a new composition first. 1080p, 1080p, okay. And the comp name line 3 because I have a uh, two line comps. So basically, I'm just experimenting and refining the technique, and then I make a tutorial. So that's why. So let's make control Y solid and this first to put a noise pattern noise. Okay, so let's add the fractal noise effect. So this is effect is pretty good. You can do a several thing with just this fractal noise. So this thing is pretty powerful plugin. So let's change the noise type first to blocky. So this is what we want. And let me change this to full. So you can see. So this is the noise. And then second thing we need to change the complexity all the way to one so we get this blocky like a pixelated and let's increase the contrast so it's more uh, black and white and let me decrease the brightness okay so this thing looks pretty good so the fractal noise is done okay so now we need to isolate the lines only so as you can see these lines so what we need to do apply uh, another cool effect called find edges okay so now as you can see this will automatically find the to block so this is our starting point okay now we need to pre-compose these two so i'm gonna press ctrl shift c and move all attributes and let's call this base texture okay okay so this is our the base texture and now we going to draw the line so grab a pen tool no actually sorry so just like i said before we need to draw anything so it based on procedural so i am applying effects and you get the lines and all that good stuff okay so the effect we're going to apply to get a line it's pretty damn cool and you guys all know that effect it's the vegas so this is the vegas and now this is the default vegas setting so first thing first to change the blend mode to stencil when we change this to in stencil so so now the background is gone so as you can see now this is the transparency let's so let's change some settings to get the lines so as you can see this is a lot of lines small so the segments all the way up to one so now we get a uh, bigger lines and the width is one so this is your personal preference i like to 1.2 1.3 something like that and the hardness all the way up to one so you get this kind of hard light maybe i i need to decrease a little bit 0.6 check the random phase so when we animate you can see they will animate individually pretty nice okay and the length so length is very important so i'm gonna decrease the point five or six so in this case i'm going to choose the six so now as you can see and this is the line so point six okay so pretty good 
and let's close this so so this effect is done guys so now all you need to do just apply a color and and take this to the whole new level so i just did something and i'm gonna show you so let's color correct so because of this is a transparency we need to fix that first so what we're going to do what i just said we're going to apply effects make this thing procedural so let's apply the solid composite so this will get a background so as you can see so now this thing is no longer transparent so this is pretty good so let's add a color so let's apply a tint okay so let's change the white maybe something like this okay though so this is looking looking pretty good okay and now let's add the glow last thing increase threshold 30 radius maybe 5 so this is pretty a tight glow i think this look pretty good and now let's animate this and let me go to the rotation and press the alt and click the stopwatch and i'm gonna add the expression so expression will be the time multiply by 100 okay so this will animate over time so now as you can see okay so in this stage so you may think uh, we need a larger blocks so what i'm gonna do just open up this comp and we have this base texture so so let's go to the fractal noise transformation transform and scale this to the 150 and let's go back and now as you can see this will change completely as you can see now i'm gonna increase this to 200 and go back so as you can see the lines and the blocks are getting bigger and in this one as you can see the blocks in a 45 degree angle so what i did is just go here and the rotate this guy where is the rotation so crank up the 45 degree and go back now you have a 45 degree lines moving so this is pretty good and let's and and add some variation so let's close these and make this add because we add the solid composite so we need to add that and let me solo and what i'm going to do is open up the vegas and decrease the length okay so as you can see as i decrease the length so i just isolate the starting point so as you can see i need these dots so as you can see now the dots only moving and now i'm gonna randomize their position so just crank up this random seats and just unsolo and now as you can see we have a lines and also a dots moving at the same path so now as you can see we have a lines and a dots moving randomly so as you can see pretty good pretty good okay and now we can do let me we can change the speed of that dots you can decrease the speed maybe 70 so the dots so the dots will move than the lines so now this thing getting a more variation so let's duplicate the base and put this on top so let's rename this one dots and this one let me isolate this one first select close and open up the vegas and decrease the length and let me increase maybe something like this and let me offset random and then let's set this to add and unsolo 
and let me put the opacity maybe 70 percent okay so now we have a lot of variation so as you can see now we have three layers so this is the base and this is the dots and this is the another line so let me put this to the 50 percent and the dot one what you can do just increase the segments and you get a more dots so i'm gonna put this maybe two is good okay so this is the base of this procedural lines method so i'm going to show you some of my experimentation of this line technique so as you can see let me put so this win so as you can see so these things have a lot of variation let me see so as you can see here in my composition so i am not doing any pre-composing so so what i did it's so i'm basically apply the effects in all this black solid layer so as you can see so this is my base layer so this is the base texture so as you can see and then we have small lines so as you can see the back side and we also have the dim lines all the way back so as you can see so this will add more depth so as you, and we also have a uh, front line so as you can see a lot of variation and we have dots so as you can see dots and then we have adjustment layer to hold the glow so as you can see and we have a controller basically what i did let me show you 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 so what i did just scale the noise so as you can see if i put this to 50 so as you can see all things getting smaller if i put this to 200 so these things are big so and as you can see this one the same thing just experiment so as you can see we have a four layer main one so these are let me put this to full so this is the main and this is the second line so as you can see different color and we have dots small dots and we have another line so as you can see and if i play so as you can see this is looking pretty good so this effect is not complicated it is a very simple method all you need to do just add a fractal noise just add a fractal noise and add a fine edges and then vegas then color correction and you done so this is the small and very powerful technique so hope you learned something so let me know what do you think about this technique so i really like that because it's make things procedural and you can change anything anytime you want and so that's why i like and i'm gonna show you how i add these lines so basically what i did let me so as you can see we add the set mat if i disable you can see this is my texture and this is my text so okay so what i did just add a text and put it down you can use a track mat but i don't want to use just switch off the text and add a set mat effect let me reset and this is the by default and what i did is take the mat from procedural lines so this will add this line inside of this text okay so if you have a red giant trap code suit you can use the shine plugin so to get the rays if you don't have you can you can use the cc radial fast blur so this is the free version and you get this kind of rays so i like this so this is more realistic so if you don't have the shine you can still use this one and get the almost the same result so as you can see and now we play so it's all moving so now and it looks pretty good because the because of this procedural texture if i don't like the scale i can go inside of this and as you can see this is my pattern and what i'm gonna do just scale up this 50 percent and go back and as you can see that the texture is scale it inside of this text hope you learned something let me know in the comment in comment below what do you think about this line procedural line technique 
and make sure and consider to subscribe to our channel to see more after effect tutorial like this as always we will see you in our next one have a great day